And again, my guest today is attorney Alexis Richards. And Alexis, you've been with us now for over a little bit over a year, right? Yeah, just going on like a year and a half. And we're all very proud of you. You've come a long way in your little over a year of practice. And yeah. You got to, you know, it's, uh, there's no substitution for experience, as we like to say. Definitely not. And I absolutely learn something new every single day. As we sit around the table, sometimes we joke and laughingly about how I threw you to the wolves <laughs> when you became a young lawyer. You did. <laughs> I did. I made you do it from the get go. And, uh, uh, why? Because I didn't want to do it. Well, and admittingly, it did make me shed a few tears. Yes. Once, maybe twice. <laughs> well, when you first became a lawyer, the probate judge we happen to have, basically every kind of motion you made, she wanted to do a hearing on it. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I will never forget when I sat in with you mm -hmm. on a hearing yes. for one of those particular motions, you know, you're talking about, and I'll never forget you saying, judge, I just want to let you know, she's going to be doing all my hearings from now on yeah. <laughs> and pointed at me. I was like, what? Get used to it. <laughs> well, I, I've been a lawyer for over 40 years and I love what I do. And every morning I wake up and think about what my day is going to be like. And the first thing that goes through my head is, boy, this is going to be a great day except for the days that I have to do a hearing. <laughs> and, you know, part of in the old days, it used to be doing a hearing here in Orange County. It means you got to get in the car. You got to drive to downtown. You got to find a parking space. You got to go through the security line. You got to go up to the judge's chambers. You got to sit in Wait. line with all yep. the other lawyers Wait. while the judge is, you know, running late as usual. And it was just a big time commitment. And just I didn't like doing it. But one of the nice things that came out of COVID was judges started doing hearings by phone, yeah. a Zoom meeting, and that certainly avoided the situation where you got to drive downtown. I got to appreciate that. Yeah. And it also, but now it means that you're on a Zoom meeting with the judge, and you're you're you know you're looking at all the lawyers who are lined up to do their hearings with that judge mm -hmm. that morning. And you really don't know what order the judge is going in. It's not who signed on first. I'm not quite sure how they picked their order. But it still requires that you got to sit there for a long, long time waiting for your time time to come up. Yep, that's true. And it's nice that we have that ability now with the technology to be able to do them virtual. Um, and it makes me a little less nervous. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, the nice thing the judge will say, look, lawyers, you go about your business, do your work, do your work on your PC, just kind of keep an ear out yep. for when we happen to call your name. Exactly. I think the last time I did that hearing, I had turned the volume down or something. something My like camera that. was yeah. still going. Uh -huh. And apparently the, you know, the judge and the clerk are like waving, you know, like, <laughs> Mr. Olson, we need your attention, you know, and I'm, I don't hear anything. I'm just working away, you know, just, I don't know. They're looking Being for productive. me. Yeah. And eventually they hung up on me. <laughs> My bad. So we had to reschedule that. Yes. But even Technology so. Technology has snafus sometimes. You know, even <laughs> so, you know, you when you're doing these hearings with the probate judge, what's the average length of time you're you're in actually talking to the judge and getting business done? Five minutes, five, seven minutes. And that's really all they allocate for each person. Right. You know, because they have to keep things moving. So you really only, like, 10 minutes would be a lot. You're looking at five to seven minutes. So you be by the way, these are ex parte hearings. Mm -hmm. They are uncontested. Right. So that's why you can get them done in five minutes. Exactly. And, but still, if you've got 10 lawyers lined up times 50, that means I've over seen you, I've seen you wait over an hour, mm -hmm. an hour for waiting yeah. for your turn. Exactly. And you know, the good news is you're not sitting in the courthouse in downtown Orlando. You are sitting at your desk trying to get some work done. Exactly. So I am very happy that they've switched to that system um, because it allows me to work on other things and also, you know, stay productive. I would more say, efficient for time. The other thing is that when, when I, in the old days, when I did used to go down to the courthouse and do these hearings, they would bring the lawyers into the hearing room one at a time. You were mm -hmm. not hearing what the lawyer in front of you happened to be doing. Mm -hmm. When you're doing these virtual hearings, you actually get to hear what the conversation is between a judge and the other lawyers. I think they're kind of switching it now where it's more so they're bringing, in, bringing you into like a personal meeting room. Okay. But 
back a little over a year ago, that's how it was. Well, I just remember doing it one time and listening to a lawyer in front of me, and then I hear the judge chewing out that lawyer yeah. for what they're doing, what they're how they're doing it wrong, and I go, gosh, dang, I'm glad yeah. I learned that so it's not going to happen to me someday. Right. So that was a little bit of a good learning process for me. I think now they're going more into like the individual meeting rooms. Um, but over a year ago, that was part of the seconds. process. Okay. Hey, everybody, thanks so much for all your great calls and questions. We do so much appreciate it. My name is Tom Olson. The name of the show is Olson on Law. You're listening to News Radio WFLA.